Says here, and today we're going to talk about the Hexagon Cup. We are all things paddle. Okay, guys, so we have the Hexagon Cup. Um, it's going to be happening right now at the end of this, this month, in the beginning of February. Um, so we're going to go over everything about the tournament and the cup. It's new. It's, this is going to be the first year. So first, let's talk about the format. Yes, it's, it's an exciting, exciting uh, new format they came out. Um, I will say it, it's it's a paddle tournament on steroids. <laughs> uh, they're bringing the best players of the world in paddle playing uh, against each other. Uh, one exciting event. Uh, it's going to be from January 31st to February 4th in Madrid, Spain. And the format is six teams, uh, six players per team. Uh, each team is made up of three categories, uh, males, females, and next-gen um, tournament. So the next-gen, just to be more clear, is for the younger paddle players, the coming-up players, the future paddle players of the world. Uh, they give them a, a chance for them to really compete with the best of the best. Up-and-coming players, the up and right? up-and-coming, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so there's three days of qualifications, right? Round-robin style. Only the top two pairs in each category, then progress to the finals weekends. Okay, yeah. the knockouts are in the semifinals on Saturday and the finals on Sunday. Yeah. So uh, where can they watch it? Uh, there will be live stream on ITVX. Uh, uh, the Exxon Cup secures a landmark broadcast deal with Eurosport, which is the biggest uh, um, Sports channel is the same same thing as ESPN here in the United States. And Discovery Plus. And Discovery Plus across Europe and Asia. It will be interesting to see who's going to broadcast us here or if you can watch it on YouTube or any. I'm sure it's going to be on YouTube. Yeah. You know, I'm sure it's going to be, you know, uh, stream live on YouTube. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested. It will be interesting if know. it's uh, live. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. So what type of courts are they going to be using? Um, and they're going to be used uh, porticos, uh, portico paddle courts. Um, they are one of the top three, I would say top three, two, top four uh, paddle courts companies in the world. Um, I, I mean, we interview them. I yeah. mean, they're absolutely beautiful paddle yeah, courts. That was a great grab yeah. for them, you know? Yeah. Okay. So how much does it cost? How much does it cost to go, uh, you know, see this this uh, tournament? Super inexpensive. I mean, it's $25, uh, 25 euros. Uh and 35 euros for the first two days and uh, 60 euros for the semi semifinals and finals. That is really reasonable. Super reasonable. And I went to the Barcelona ma Masters and it was very reasonable too. I yeah. mean, it's just incredible how reasonably this price. I wonder how long it's going to be until those prices go up, you know? I guess when there's more demand, right? Yeah, I think this is, this is going to be uh, uh, the first of many to come, hopefully. Uh, and let's talk about the really the nitty gritty, the the juicy part, the exciting part. Hexagon Cup, yeah, it's just a tournament. Players, you know, putting teams together and all that. But what is the most exciting thing about the Hexagon Cup about these players? The ching ching, the prize the money, ching baby. Ching. The show the prize me the money, money baby. <laughs> there you go. Show me the money. So we're looking at a million dollars. A million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> a million euros, dollar euros. euros, euros I mean, euros. the biggest prize oh, money man. in any paddle tournament in the universe. I mean, that's big. That's going to attract the top players. It's going to attract yes. a lot of people, um, you know, because you're investing already money into it. At least you can subsidize some of that money if you get that, that, that million dollars back. But I'm sure that million dollars is in total, right? Not just one team is going to get one million dollars. So I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work, but, you know, I'm sure it's going to be spread out through all the teams based on their performance, right? Obviously. I mean, but that's why you get all these major players play, playing this this event. I mean, it's just uh, well, let's, incredible. Let's talk about <clears throat> that. Let's talk about it. You know, there's six teams. Uh, let's talk about who these guys are yeah. in the teams. All right, let's talk about the first one. Uh, team 11-11, Eva Longoria. And Dara Sports. And just to be more clear, who's we know Eva Longoria from uh, the Housewives of what? Beverly Hills or uh, Miami or I whatever. Know you, I know you watched that. I didn't watch that. <laughs> but but I'm wondering how Eva got, got involved in that. You know, I've yes. seen her play. So she definitely plays. Um, yeah. You know, she plays pretty decent yeah. too. So I know she's friends with David Beckham. So maybe, you know, uh, David plays as well. Yeah. So that's really cool that they got that celebrity too. And the exciting part about Dara Sports, you know who's behind Dara Sports? Tell me. 
tell me, it's uh, Danny Omedes, owner oh, of Wimwood Paddle Club. Right, that's there right. you go. Miami, yeah. it's on the loop right yeah. here. Yeah, Wimwood Paddle Club. That's Wimwood right. Paddle Club, the big, the first ever paddle club in the United States. Wimwood Paddle Club. Um, one of one of the owners. Uh, it's Dara Sports. Uh, so exciting to be part of. Uh, Wimwood to be. I mean, yeah. in, indirectly, Wimwood be part of this yeah. journey. So who's on that team? Who's on uh, that team? The legend. Bella Steguin, Fernando Bella Steguin, uh, Alejandra Alonso is the female player, Lucho Capra is the other incredible player, Alex Chosas is, uh, he's probably eight, 19, um, he plays in the A1 uh, most of the tournaments, uh, then uh, who else is there? Coaches, who are the, co- who are the coaches? Coaches, it's uh, Miguel Ciroli. Uh, he's the current coach of uh, Belasteguin and Willy Lajos. He's a um, legend in, in the paddle world. It's also another of the coaches. All right. So the next one is uh, Team Advantage, and that's Andy Murray's team with AV uh, Global Sports. <music> and he's got uh, Martin Dineno playing there, uh, Sofia Araujo, which is a great Portuguese player, uh, Juan Tello. Uh, Pablo Garcia is a next generation player. And who is who do they have for coaches there? Uh, Nito Brea, the Argentinian paddle legend. I mean, he's the uh, the father of, of Delphi Brea. Um, mm-hmm. Super exciting. I mean, these guys are legends. And our buddy, and, and our buddy, the other coach, our buddy. Yeah, and Seba Nerone. Yeah. <laughs> the, the mesmerizing, incredible <laughs> Seba Nerone. And don't for, we forgot one of the other uh, next gen uh, players, which is Paul Hernandez. Paul Hernandez. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what's our next team, uh, Julian? Uh, team RL9. Oh boy. Oh Roberto boy. Lewandowski from Poland. He soccer plays battles, player. but soccer player. Yeah. Bayern Munich. Now playing at Barcelona. Barcelona. Played so, what for the German national team? German, German national. national no, team. no, Polish national team. Polish national. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. Polish. Argentina beat him yeah, in yeah, the yeah, you know right. the World Cup. Yeah, Come of on, man. You gotta bring yeah. Him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, who's on his Who's on his team then? So we have Alan, a, 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 a Ariana Sanchez Fayada, nice. Agustin De Mozart of Catamarca Tapia, Claudia Jensen, John Sands, David Gala as a next gen number one, and so Jensen as a next gen number two, and Maxi Gabriel is the coach, and another coach is Mar- Marcela Ferrari. Okay, all right. So let's talk about the next team, uh, Team Bay of Puerto Rico. Uh, that's kind of like a surprise to me, but they have two clubs there. Um, you know, uh, I was almost going to visit one of those clubs, so I guess it's, it's growing there in Puerto yeah. Rico as well. But with Maria Esteve and Carlos Lopez Lay, um, and they have one of my favorite female players, uh, you know, the beautiful Bea Gonzalez, uh, Arturo Cuello. Wow, they got they got a team. They yeah. they got a monster team, yeah. man. Uh, female player Claudia Fernandez, uh, Jorge Nieto, it's a great player. And next gen players, they have Francisco Guerrero, uh, Rodrigo Cuello, which which is. Uh, the, the, the the brother the uh, younger Arturo. brother of, wow, of, of, of Arturo yeah of Arturo. and so who are the coaches there uh, uh Rodrigo uh Gustavo Prato he's the current coach of Tapia and Coelho and and Jorge Martinez all right so what's the next team there incredible the, how tennis always gets intertwined with that yeah, the, yeah, yeah, we yeah. had an Andy Murray team now we have the Rafa Nadal Academy team Which is super exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and who's on the team there? Marta, Marta Ortega, Alex Ruiz, uh, Gemma Try, uh, Franco Stupasuk, Daniel Santiago as a next gen one, Guillermo Collado as a next gen two, and the coach is uh, Carlos Pozzoni, um, the current coach of Dineno and, and, uh, Dineno and Stupa. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go to the next team. This is a team hexagon team. All right, so you have Alejandra Salazar, Paquito Navarro, uh, Tamara uh, Icardo, Juan Martin Diaz, um, and, and you know, for next generation players, you have Pablo Cardona, Alonso Rodriguez, and the coaches there, you have R- R- Ramiro Choya and Maria Solvelo. That's going to be sort of like a, a Davis Cup format, you know, yeah. like, like a sort of like a World Cup format, you know, where teams play against each other. Uh, it's going to be interesting how it transcends and how it goes. 
Um, do you think they could jump across the pond and come to the States? Uh, I think so. Uh, I, I'm, well, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I, I guess it depends how it goes there because I think they're trying to create like an event, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a tournament, but I think they're going to have, you know, DJs are going to have uh, events there. It's going to be like an experience. I think that's what they're focusing on. And if they do a good job, I'm sure they're going to be able to do it again uh, next year in Europe. And once they're profitable, or if they can project they're going to be profitable, I think then they'll jump the pond. They'll, they'll come down here. I mean, but because if you see it, it this is sort of like a like a PPL on it's steroids. It's exactly really what it, what it is. That's what it is. I, I think, you know, um, I think that was tried there before, you know, but the timing was not right, you know. PPL came, you know, they, they tried to the people, they started the PPL here and the timing was perfect. And I think maybe the timing is correct in, in, in Europe right now. And I think the Hexacon Cup, uh, you know, I think should be a success, just like the PPL is. Um, whether they come down here or not, not sure, you know, but the more tournaments, the better, you know, yeah. that's how that's how I see it. I, I don't I don't really look at it as a competition because there's so many tournaments through the year um, and these players can can do that. You know, so I'm looking forward to to watching that, um, you know, that tournament for sure. And maybe next year we'll go. You know, I want to go this year, but we're a little busy. But maybe yeah. next year we'll, we'll, we'll check fantastic. it out. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us on this show to talk about the Hexagon Cup. Uh, we'll see you on the court. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And join us for All Things Battle. We are All Things Battle.